Hello, this is Gigi. Today we will learn how to install Stable Diffusion Web UI on your Mac. Installing Stable Diffusion Web UI on a Mac could be challenging if you are not familiar with installing software using Terminal. In this video, I will walk you through the process step by step. Setting up Stable Diffusion Web UI only takes 5 simple steps. So wait no further, let's get started. Step 1, we will need to install Homebrew. So we go to the Homebrew web page and copy this command. Then we open the terminal and paste it into the terminal. Hit enter and enter your computer's password. The installation process will start automatically. It may take a few minutes, so be patient. Once it's finished, there are two more instructions to follow for Mac users. Simply copy and paste the first line provided. Hit enter. Then we copy the second line and hit enter. Now that Homebrew is installed successfully, let's move to step 2. We will need to install all the dependencies that are required to run the software. So simply copy the provided command line in my description and wait for the installation to finish. Or you can type in by yourself, brew, install, cmake, portal buff, rust, python, add 3.10, git, wget. Awesome! The next step is to install the web UI browser interface. So head over to the GitHub repository and copy this URL. Then type in the command to clone this repository. git space clone space URL. Once the installation is done, type open space dot to access this directory. Inside this directory, we will find a folder named model. Click on the folder and locate another folder called stable diffusion. This is where we will place our stable diffusion model. So get ready. Step four. To get the original model, we just need to head over to the Hugging Face page and download it. There are two models available at the current time, version 1 and version 2. Despite version 2 being the most recent option, it's not necessarily an upgraded version. In fact, many people have found that version 1 produces better results. So I will download version 1 for today's demonstration. Go to the second tab called Files and scroll down to locate this model. And we can see there are two different formats. One is called checkpoints, another one is called safe tensor. Well, like the name implies, safe tensor is a much safer file format for distributing models comparing to checkpoints. Click this download button. It will take probably 5 to 10 minutes to finish the download. Once it's done, we will place this model into the model folder we mentioned before. You can copy and paste or drag and drop. Now it's time to get back to our terminal. And type in our terminal cd space stable diffusion web UI. This command will locate us to the directory of stable diffusion web UI folder. Then we type ls. This command displays the contents of the current directory. At the bottom, we can see a file called webui.sh, which is the execution command to run the web UI. So we will type dot slash webui.sh. Wait until you see this URL. Copy this URL to your browser. Yay, it's there. Shall we test it? All right. In the prompt area, I will type in the keywords to describe the content I want, then click the Generate button. Well, because my MacBook is not the best machine to run such software, so it obviously takes a longer time to generate the image. But here we go! Congratulations for our first stable diffusion image! In my next video, I will walk you through the user interface in much details. So stay tuned, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys, I will see you soon.